The drider rose and examined the cadaverous Salamari who walked towards her. She knew what it was and had foreseen his coming. I come on behalf of Lord Death, said the undead warrior. His blue skin had paled many shades, and his cheeks had sunken, sallow, but he looked powerful despite his condition. Everything about his nature exuded an aura of decay, and the stench of the grave clung to him. If ever Scriar met a fellow worshipper of her lord, this was one. The drider grinned wickedly and steepled her fingers. Hail, Lord Death. Scriar put one fist across her breast in typical morel salute and gave a subtle bow appropriate for an empress entertaining a foreign dignitary. Where do you come from and where do you go? I am Leicester Bane of Lernaville, formerly a great city of Charnock. I am the herald of Melchior the champion and a true child death. Where I go is my business, Drainer, but I bear a gift for you from Lord Death. Your army seems to be ruled by fear. It is ineffective. Scriar raised an eyebrow. You know my army? I have seen your army in action, and I passed it by as I journeyed here towards the Northern Islands. I watched it as it was routed by the dwarves and humans twice. He recognized the surprise on her face. I assume you ought to be receiving word of it at any moment. It's been many days since the second loss. Likely that same fear I described has delayed the Black Forest from sending a raven. The drider's lip curled with rage. Leicester Bane produced a glass flask of black roiling fluid. The gift of death. This is the necroluvium, the blood of decay. The ichor has been growing since our lord gave it. With this, you could raise an army immune to fear, one that will never grow weary. The undead creature placed the bottle in her hand, turned, and departed. Before he made a full exit, he spoke over his shoulder. Lord Death favors you, and even now his four acolytes prepare a blessing in your honor. I expect you have the fate of the Birthlands well in hand to achieving our mutual purpose. She gave him a spider-legged curtsy, and then the fiend was gone. Scriar's Praetorian troops finally relaxed. The only hint that he had ever been there was the foul, lingering odor of the dead. 